Did it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Are you doing an unbelievable That's an absolute beauty. Straight down the middle for Harding. Just what he was after. Justin Harding at the third, just coming out of the very light rough. One ninety nine for Harding with a very good lie, and he can see the green. Or very odd, really swirling. Possibly the greatest tee markers I've ever seen. Another good shot just on those little rhinos. Beautiful, aren't they? Harding from a lower level. The first half of this putt is up a hill before it levels out. He's setting up like he's going to bump it and not fly it to the green. Ah, oh, there you go. That's the way you should have played it. Beautiful. Now, the driver for Hardy doesn't have the power that Kitayama does. Always a good sign when you just bend down to pick up the tee right away. Yeah, that's a beauty. Does he like it? Probably not, but he's got away with it. Jamie, I was astonished looking at the stats today to see that the average fairways hit for the European Tour this year is below 50%. I find that astonishing. Let's see how much loft he's using. Yeah. He knows what he's doing out of the Kikuyu. That was dead on line. I think he's probably gone down to probably a gap wedge. overdone it, I think, down the right. Not a great lie here for Harding, but he's played a wonderful shot from well below the level of the green. Yeah, that's a classy effort. Very easy to do what the others have done, slide the club under it and just flub it in the bunker. He'll take that. This one downhill right to left, not a lot of movement. Lovely. Yeah, he's walking it in as well, Justin Harding. So back to back birdies at six and seven, and the South African does move it to clear once again at the top. Harding has the driver out, wind behind him from the right, 315 to the front edge. And if you play 13% for altitude, that equates to 274, and he gets there easily. That is an absolute beauty. Yes, helped by a nice firm bounce, but it was always a good strike. And that for an eagle, too. Deserve that shot of the day for me so far. That tee shot from Harding. I'm in lead, and I'm going to keep it. Great eagle. Harding, lofting one into ten. Oh. oh, well, that was slightly unexpected. Vicious, vicious amount of backspin. He's saying, saying he's an excellent bunker player. Played that well. Yeah, very well. Kept it under the hole as well for his putt. Yeah, three of those are par five, six, eleven, and twelve. You expect a lot of birdies on that, and nine's the driver, all par four. So lots of birdies and eagles available. Now this is a big part for Harding. Oh, he was walking that in, you know. He was convinced he'd made it. Door slightly ajar for our leader. Makes a little bit of a cut in the middle of the green. Pretty good. Harding's turn. Oh, my goodness. That is a 
fine effort. Birdie would have been a massive bonus, but two putts from there. That could do just fine. So you both said 21 under par, winning score. If he pars his way in from here, do you think he still wins it? Get a bullet. Yep. Yeah, it's a heck of a lot easier, isn't it? And as Jamie said, just don't get too cute. Doesn't look like he loves it. Oh my goodness. That's a dreadful shot. Well, I fancy Kitty Armour will get inside that. Well done. Nerves of steel. Well, middle of the green, just make your part for Harding. A little bit right. It's okay. And he's got to be thinking that Kitayama will make three at best. He's not thinking he's going to hold it. So he's looking for two putts. Safe two putts, maybe one, maybe one. Oh, what a great try, <laughs> absolutely. Dom, he's in the first cut of rough here, which will help him make the ball release a little bit. He's got a nice lie, plenty of green to work with. Wind is not a factor. He's close enough to the green. He's around about 70 yards, I suspect. Don't want to go over to the right. A little short or to the left to leave himself with the best putt for birdie. Oh, we're using that slope behind. Aggressive play. Clever shot. And educated hands. That is just beautifully played. Well, he's been missing his part left, Jay. So he hasn't. Straight in the middle. Good read from Harding and a good read from Jay Townsend. Two excellent birdies on this 17th. That was a pressure putt. There's no question. You, you don't want to be going up the last with just the one shot lead. About 10 to 12 miles an hour, helping from the right. He's got the three wood out. This hole in the landing area has a little bit of bend from left to right and a little slope from right to left. So you have to be careful you don't run out to the left. Oh, with all the pressure on, this is really a good tee shot. Excellent shot for Harding, who's trying to win on the European Tour for the second time. Outstanding. That really makes life a lot easier for Justin Harding. The bailout is to the right. If you miss it left, it makes it very difficult. Two shots in hand. Nicely done. Well judged. Excellent shot by our leader. Handles the pressure, and you can see a little bit of relief as that one comes to rest on the green. It won't be relaxing just yet, but... It's nearly there. All his friends and family watching at home. Don't worry. I might even roll this one in. Oh, surely. <laughs> Doesn't matter one jot. Closing round of 66 for South Africa's Justin Harding, who is back in the winner's circle on the European Tour. Your second win on the European Tour, just tell us how good does this one feel? <laughs> just a lot easier winning in 2019. <laughs> no, look, it's, uh, 
Yeah, okay, I'm a bit emotional now, but um, yeah, look, it was it was hard work. Uh, happy with the way I played. Kurt's an unbelievable competitor. Excuse me. Kurt's a hell of a competitor. Uh, I got him back for Mauritius. <laughs> um, but yeah, look, uh, I'm glad I got one shot, one better than a couple of years ago. Uh, I was bummed about that, but just happy with the way I managed my game. As you say, Kurt Kitayama was applying the pressure all day long. It was thrilling to watch. You certainly looked very calm out there. How were you feeling? I wasn't feeling too good after 12. <laughs> um, I made a mess of 11 and 12, and ultimately the way I've played 13 through 18 this week, it, uh, it was a bit of a stressful time. Um, executed some shots and uh, managed to make a couple good par saves, and I couldn't lay back on 17 because I knew Kurt and it just bombs it. So I had to go for it there, and yeah, just ultimately pleased about executing the golf shot. Now, these are unusual times that we're playing in. Obviously, the bubble in place on the tour. Your team are probably more important now than they have ever been before. Tell us, who's behind Team Harding? Yeah, sure. Uh, Leah, my girlfriend, I mean, I'm sure she's probably stressed out. Um, she's not experienced this before, so I hope she's uh, surviving. My mom is probably uh, having a hard time, um, my dad as well. ellen has been on the bag for a long time as well. Look, it's just it's nice to be back in the winter circle. We're delighted to see you there, Justin. Congratulations. Thank you. Papa. And Harding referenced the ding-dong battle that he and Kitayama had had down the stretch at the 2019 Afrasia Bank Mauritius Open. Kitayama went on to win that one, so Harding has got his own back. Well, congratulations. Thank you very friend. much. Yeah? Thank you. Hope you enjoyed <laughs> well it and well done. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. Well, well, well done. done. Well, well done. done. To watch another European Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.